Bogged down by credit card debt after Christmas? It has to a certain point, but then, you know, you've got to pull yourself back in. I just got a $25,000 debt yesterday. It's terrifying. It's really frightening when debt gets a little bit out of hand. When Hayley Price decided to wage war on her credit debt, she decided to try a new tact. With her old credit card charging a standard interest rate, she transferred all her debt onto a new card with zero interest. I moved the debt which I'd accrued on my Virgin card to my Aussie card um, with the intention of you know, not paying interest for six months. It's called a balance transfer. According to Richard Greenwood, it's becoming more popular. If you take all those different credit card debts and bring them all over onto one card, preferably with a low interest rate and perhaps a either 0% or very low interest balance transfer rate. On Richard's credit card comparison website, you can see there are plenty of these low interest rate cards around. It's only come now at the real crunch time with the global credit crisis and people are really waking up to how much debt they're in. On average, Australians have about $3,000 of debt just on our credit cards. And we're looking at years, if not lifetimes, to pay it off. If you've got $1,000 on your credit card and you just paid the minimum balance, it would take you over 10 years to pay it off. Once in debt, it can be hard to pay it off without being hit with high interest payments. Even harder if you've got multiple cards. But a balance transfers the answer. I thought that I would have six months of a credit card that didn't accrue interest. Um, that wasn't the case. As Haley found, there can be a trap to these cards if you don't read the fine print. The low or no interest rate only applies to the debt you transfer over, not to any new spending on the card. I thought it would be 0%, but in actual fact I was paying 11.2% or whatever it was. According to budget expert Michelle House, balance transfers can be a good way to blitz existing debt. But the real solution to credit card debt is finding a way to curb your use of them in the first place. It's something Leah Gates is keen to master. She has two credit cards. Both currently maxed out. So Leah, where's all this money going? Where's the money going? It's going on my wardrobe, like mm. any girl my age. Clothes. Galore. Yes. So we've asked Michelle to help our serial spender. Avoid having credit cards. Perhaps you could even put it in a tin of water in the freezer and freeze it so that then you have to wait for it to defrost before you can make any spending choices. Michelle says the key to paying off your debt quickly, chipping in more than just your minimum monthly repayment. It's a good habit to get into, but it requires you to budget. Having 12 cappuccinos a month could cost you around $50. If you put that $50 towards your credit card debt, you could have that paid down in two years instead of 10. Michelle also recommends a technique called debt stacking for people with multiple cards. Basically, you pay the minimum monthly repayment on all of your cards, Whatever extra you can afford, you put towards the card with the highest interest rate until each card is paid off. This way you can slash years off repayments. That one's going to be paid, paid down really, really quickly. Back to the idea of balance transfers, with so many low interest cards now on the market, it can be hard to know which one to transfer to. Here are some questions you should ask. What's the interest rate of the balance transfer? How long does the honeymoon period last for? What's the interest rate after the honeymoon period ends? And what are the annual fees? As for our spender, Leah, she's decided to freeze her credit debt for good. Managing is really important. Um, not spending someone else's money, perhaps just learning to pay it off and not using it again.